Welcome to another HSExtra.com high school football video. My name is Joe Serrera, and I'm joined once again this week by Grimsley head football coach Daryl Brown. Daryl, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Joe. As always, I appreciate it. Your Worley's matchup with Northern Guilford Friday night is uh, for the Metro 4A Conference Championship. It's also the only matchup uh, Friday night in North Carolina of two unbeaten teams. What does that say about the quality of football in, in Guilford County right now and in, in the Metro 4A? Well, I mean, I think we got a lot of really good football teams in our conference, and um, I think that's kind of played out um, this season. I mean, um, there's been a lot of really good games, tight games. Um, you know, so it's been a very competitive league for sure. We got a lot of really good players, a lot of really good coaches. And, um, you know, Friday night's no different. We're, you know, excited about the challenge. Northern's a, Northern's a really good team. Um, they've played really well all year, um, so it ought to be a lot of fun. You guys have had a couple of, of uh, tough road environments you went into with great crowds, Pinecrest down in Southern Pines, Reagan. What, what are you expecting Friday night when you go up to Northern Guilford? Yeah, a lot of the same. Um, I know they'll have a great crowd and, um, you know, they've got a great program there. A lot of, a lot of history, well, not history so much as, but the last 10, 15 years, I mean, the things that they've done up there at Northern Guilford at high school. And um, so that community, um, gets excited about football. Um, Friday nights are special there. So I know they'll have a great crowd and they'll be ready to go. And um, I would imagine that uh, we'll have a, a large fan base as well that will travel with us. Yeah, should be great atmosphere. This type of matchup to close the regular season, it has to be great preparation for what you guys are going to see in the 4A West playoffs, which is going to be just a loaded bracket. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, as a player and as a coach, um, this is the kind of stuff that you – you know, that you dream about and that you like. I mean, being able to play the last game of the season for the conference championship, two undefeated teams. So um, exciting game against a really good football team that will get us better um, heading into, into the playoffs. And, um, you know, Paige last week, Northern this week, and then the playoffs start the, the week after. Um, you know, there's no let-ups anywhere on, on that schedule for sure. So um, great test. And um, like I said, we're excited about it. You mentioned, Paige, you guys are coming off of a, a big rivalry win there, 52-22 last Friday night at uh, Jamison Stadium. What do you learn about your team in that game? I know you, you guys learn something every week. Yeah, well, the last few weeks going into that week, I had I didn't think we played real discipline and um, hadn't played real poised. And um, we did that Friday night. I thought we played um, um, really disciplined football. I thought we played tough and together. And I thought we were really poised uh, most of the night. Um, our guys had... Um, they were very focused on the job and getting the job done. They didn't get caught up in the distractions, which is very easy to do um, in, in that week, in that game. So mm -hmm. I was really proud of our guys. It was a business-like approach all week from them. And um, it was like that on Friday night for the most part, even at the half and when we was in the locker room. Um, guys were locked in on the second half. Um, they were very understanding that uh, we had just watched film a page the week before and saw them score 34 points in the second half. So we were very aware of what they were capable of coming out in the second half. And um, our guys were really um, just locked in together and um, just willing to do whatever it took to get the job done. And that's kind of how we're going to have to be the rest of the year for sure. And um, no different this week. Mm -hmm. Obviously, once you were done with that page game, you were able to turn your attention to Northern Guilford. What do you see from the Nighthawks as you look at them on, on film to prepare? Well, they're, they're very dynamic on offense. I mean, they got playmakers all over the field. They spread you out. Um, quarterback does a great job of getting the ball to different receivers. The two outside guys, 4 and 11, I mean, they're as good as anybody around. Um, big, tall, athletic receivers that can make plays um, down the field vertically. And then, um, you know, they get them the ball on screens and quick games and let them do things with their feet. Um, and then they got the big tight end over the middle and the slot receiver that's really good. Um, the running back, um, once you start kind of spreading things out, he makes things happen. Um, and like I said, I, I've been really uh, watching film. I, I was really impressed with their quarterback. I think he makes good decisions and um, doesn't turn the ball over a lot. Um, he's a good runner as well. And then on the defensive side of the ball, I see 11 guys that get after it. Um, they fly around. Um, they're always kind of trying to, you know, bring pressure from different areas and um, they'll move the front quite a bit. But just um, seems like they like to try to create a lot of penetration and just um, kind of get you, you know, out of what you want to do um, as early as they can. And, um, you know, they've, they've been making plays on that side of the ball. The kicker um, is really good as well. So he kicks the ball deep on kickoffs. And 
Um, so special teams is pretty good for them as well. So I see a complete team um, that's playing with a lot of seniors, um, 17 guys that play quite a bit for them. And um, in some ways, they reminded me of us a little bit last season in the spring, just with the experience they got um, all over the field. Mm -hmm. What does your team have to do Friday night to get that conference championship and finish another unbeaten regular season? Um, pl play much the same way we played on Friday night. We, you know, we have to be clean. We have to be sound fundamentally. Um, you know, if we if we try to do too much or kind of um, – are not real sound, especially on the offense side of the ball, they're, they're going to hit you for big losses and possibly create turnovers. So um, we got to make sure that we're sound and we account for all those guys that they're bringing, um, all the different ways that they can bring pressure, um, especially in pass protection and, and also in the run game. And then on the defensive side of the ball, um, you know, getting off the field on third downs I think is huge, um, trying to create some turnovers, which we've been fairly good at for the most part. But again, being sound, not giving up the big play, um, you know, forcing them to snap the football over and over. And I think eventually we'll be able to make a play. So if we go out and give up a big play vertically down the field or don't tackle that running back when he's out in space, um, it, it could be a tough night for us. It's going to be a great matchup. Going to be looking forward to getting up to uh, Northern Guilford on Friday night. We wish you guys luck in that game and uh, going forward in the playoffs. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it as always.